What's up, soul family? Welcome to the Lighthouse Delphi. I'm your oracle, Sarah the Mediterranean Goddess, aka Rose Delphi. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new, what's up? Welcome to the family. If you are returning, you know how we do. We're about to flow from a message from the Holy Spirit. All right, so thank you for being here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for using me to deliver a message. You guys remember, I'm the messenger, and this is just a collective reading. So Go to my website, lighthousedelphi.com, if you want any more information about me or anything that I offer, you know, all that, the decks, all that shit, okay? So, I'm already channeling, first of all, hold up, thank you, Holy Spirit, for this sacred space. Use me to deliver the most precise, up-to-date message for the collective. Whatever time, guys, this is a timeless reading, too, okay? So... There's so many other readers on here. I'm just trying to attract my soul family, my royal family, okay? So I don't need any kind of judgment or this or that. Take that shit somewhere else, all right? So maybe people have been judging you or they think they know you and they don't know you. And I'm talking friends, family, all the above, I heard, get out my business, my business, stay the fuck up out my business, okay? So, <clears throat> you about your business, <clears throat> and I feel like everybody else is about your business too, like what the hell, but I feel like they don't necessarily agree with what your business is, whether that be on a spiritual level or physical level, maybe they don't, maybe you created a business and they don't like the business you created. I don't know exactly all the things book a reading with me if you want a personal reading but like I just feel like people want to put their two cents in how you live your life or people want to control how you live your life or people want to um they would just want to be in your business but they don't want to help support they want to be in there so they could they could be uh, judgy or be Karens like spiritual Karens or something like that but they don't actually want to lift a finger to help you develop on your journey or they just don't agree with what you're doing so they feel it's useless to help you that's fucked up too because listen I'm a mom and whatever my kids want to do even if I don't really I, so this might be a parent because I'm I'm I don't know it could be a friend family lover or whatever but the example source is bringing me is like my kids like even when my kids are into things that you know whatever I want to be this when I grow up mom okay I believe in you and I'm here with you if that's what you want to be I'm not going to sit there. Look, it was 3.03 on the time. So this is Ascended Master 33 information for my chosen ones. Ashe, Ashe. For real. Four directions I'm hearing. Ancestors. But like, and then a seashell. Okay. Now I'm hearing a, a nursery rhyme. Like, by the CCC. So, it's something nostalgic. This has happened since your childhood or something. But... You know, when my daughter says I want to be an artist, I don't say, well, what do you want to be? Homeless on the street? A homeless artist on the street? Like, what the fuck is that? You know, I feel like you've learned to reparent yourself. And this is past, present, future energy. So flip it. You could be going through this or will be going through this or are going through this. But like, you have talents. And things that you want to create and be. You're an earth angel. Look at through the bag. That's the only card you see. You're an earth angel. You're here to like teach about love and patience and kindness and balance. And I'm hearing both worlds. Duality. And unification and oneness. But <clears throat> I feel like there's these people that... And it's, it's almost like a, a, a universal energy that no matter, here's an example. You guys, when I went and got a tattoo, um, this one, when I went and got this tattoo, um, I was checking around different, um, tattoo places. Cause the guy who did my back moved to a different state. And so I didn't want to travel to a different state. So 
I was looking for a different tattoo artist and I went to this one place and for some reason the dude was like, um, oh, I can't do it today, but I can do it, um, tomorrow more like I don't know what he said he just said he couldn't do it that night and I wanted it done that night I didn't mind if I had to come back or whatever because it was our it was like 10 o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock like noon and they were like oh they couldn't do, he couldn't do it but it was his attitude right so you're able to read people's like attitudes intentions all right the thing is is some people have misjudged your attitude and your intention too because i want to talk about that as well um but like this dude he was like uh you know i can't do it today but i can do it tomorrow but the way his attitude was right like his intention i didn't like it and i was like oh no it's okay and then he i don't know how it came up but he was like what do you do for a living what's your job or something and um and i said uh i'm a reader i'm a tarot reader and he was like what you make money off that and i'm like yes but i make more than money off that i make amazing divine connections and i make you know growth happen and i'm you know like it was so weird because it also he was an artist he was a tattoo artist so I could easily have looked at him and said, oh, you make money off drawing on people? Like, you're, like that used to be a thing. People That wasn't a respected, um, that wasn't a respected occupation. So I feel like maybe like people don't respect what you choose to do with your life or your respected occupation or what your business is or whatever. <clears throat> even other fellow artists might not even see your value. That's what I mean by some people even misinterpret your intention and your because all right so for instance that tattoo artist had a bad heart and a bad intention because of his own beliefs okay which mind you he was an older man so surprisingly he probably had to fight really hard to become that artist that tattoo artist that actually made money you know which i understand it can be a struggle but when you're dedicated to your passion and your purpose and love, God will make a way, okay? And a lot of people, they don't understand, like, why you have faith that God even will make a way for that. Or when it does happen and you do make it, how God made a way for you to even do that. And a lot of it could even be fellow artists. A lot of it could even be that. Like I said, people can even misstrue, misconstrue your words or your intention or your attitude in action because they're used to dealing with people that are of low vibration with those beliefs so if they're if like for instance that tattoo guy if he's always around people that you know can't believe in the impossible then you know I, I can't be stuck in that. So it's like, it's, it's like, you got to move around fam. You can't be around people that don't believe in you or believe in God or believe in the impossible for, for things to happen, because that can be a, a block towards your manifestation. You got to be around people that believe in the impossible that believe like, dang, when people meet me a lot of the times, because I do kind of like, I'm both light and dark. So I have like an attitude, but then at the same time, like I'm real as fuck and I'm very loving and all that. And some people can't handle me because they don't realize or they don't understand my intention. I'm a mystery, you know? So you're like a mystery, that high priest, high priestess energy. It's like, they don't understand, they, they don't, they can't digest you. They don't know how to digest you. You're a piece of organic goodness. You're, you are the promised land. And it's so funny because you guys, my, my daughters are in Girl Scouts. So I was about to take them on like a little Girl Scout field trip. Um, because they, the Girl Scouts gave us like a list of things to do. And, um, going on, going to the dairy farm is one of the girl scout um things to check off the list and i was telling my kids like i don't even really want to go to the dairy farm because the way they be doing the cows is fucking terrible 
you know, and you guys can agree with this or not agree with this. This is just my own thing, okay? But the cows have to stay pregnant. The cows, they're always laboring. It's like a labor of love. So you think you're just going to the store and buying a gallon of milk, but you don't see the labor behind it. Okay? These cows are constantly pregnant and laboring. Okay? Laboring to give the milk. To feed the people. And I feel like sometimes that's you, fam. And I don't mean to call you a cow, but hey, in some cultures, cows are revered. All right? In the, in the U.S., they treat them like shit. But in other places in the world, they're revered. But let me tell you, all organic goodness should be revered. Ashe, Ashe. Where's my bell at? Yo, all organic goodness should be revered. Ashe. And I feel like you're organic goodness. But see, sometimes people are stuck on that process shit. Come on, sources talking. Some people are stuck on those fake process souls. So they like going with the crowd and they like, you know, being a cookie cutter because they're they're stuck on that process fakeness, you know, but you are the organic goodness. Just like, honestly, that cow and you should be revered. But, you know, some people can't digest you just like some people can't even digest cow's milk. They can't digest the sugar. That's that lactose intolerant. So you might be lactose intolerant in real life or whatever, but this is giving me spiritually. These people are spiritually carnal. And they're on formula. And they have spiritual lactose intolerance, spiritual heartburn, spiritual indigestion. They've become spiritually intolerant of your ass. That's how you know you're doing something right. I mean, you you literally giving these motherfuckers like you they gotta be burped. We gotta they gotta burp. They gotta burp before they can ingest more of your amazingness. Okay. But I feel like you are the land of milk and honey, family. You are the promised land. It's not a place that you're gonna go. It's not like, oh, once I reach new heights and then I'll be fulfilled once I once I start getting more money once I meet more of my soul family once then I'll be pro no it's not yeah we are on a constant journey but you are the land of milk and honey Ashe Ashe I feel like <clears throat> you're always pregnant just like these cows so you might actually be pregnant, but this is not that. This is a spiritual pregnancy. You're always pregnant with new ideas, with love. You're always feeding everybody this labor of love. But you just have to understand. Some people are so used to the process the process fakeness that they don't know how to digest you <laughs> what kind of shit is that though <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. all right source creator let's get some more information oh, five of cups so these people they it could be a lover because i saw the lovers with the tower it could be a lover it could be a past relationship or just like it's honestly this this spirit that feels like they can't um control like can't control yeah it's definitely a lover or something like that there's a lover here there's an ex that's sad about you or there's somebody thinking about a love situation <clears throat> you are a high priest a high priestess we got pisces energy here 
Yeah, you know who these people are. There's up to five people, honestly, that are either against this love situation, three to five people, or against your, your passions, like I said. Like, don't people have their own passions? Like, why are they over here? fighting to climb the ladder or some shit like that how are you gonna fight this is what i'm getting some people want to fight to climb the ladder to get to the top but everybody has their own spine everybody has their own vertebrae everybody has their own jacob's ladder to climb to get to this ten of cups this full fulfillment wish and happiness but this is you this is the promised land These people can only watch you. Yeah, they're stuck in the mental. They have to deal with some wounds of the past that's making them feel unstable. That's what that's what that's what makes them intimidated. Yeah, there's a king and queen of wands here too. This is there's a beautiful love situation. There's two powerful individuals here that are very um intuitive very passionate very uh driven um these other people are are ego driven i don't know i feel like though they've 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 drank some milk you keep you giving them milk so hopefully um they can they can not be why am i getting a colicky baby <laughs> With the Knight of Swords. <laughs> Somebody mad or something like that. They need to go ground. When you get upset like that or whatever. But yeah. There's an offer coming in. Or some sort of like money or material blessing here. Let's get some other. I just. I didn't like the energy with that. That shit was funky. I'm like get the fuck away. <laughs> oh wow. Alright. So let's see what's up. Which one, Holy Spirit? This one. So I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are enjoying this reading. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe to your girl. Otherwise, why are you watching? Okay. <clears throat> Standing in your strength and knowing your value. <clears throat> so that's that Leo energy. Knowing who you are. Knowing your value. When these people um, cast judgment on you, just stand. Stand in your solar plexus, in your confidence, and understand your true value. Look at this. Pamper yourself. And I was getting a colicky baby. <laughs> you guys, when you feel that even... Because listen, this is all... We're one. Okay? So we're all going through levels of growth. Okay? And... God gives us th these these promises and, and as they're being fulfilled and we're growing and we're going from a uh, spiritual baby formula to to a, a, a more sweeter um, milk, okay? It can be a little bit spiritually intolerant, okay? You can get a little uh, milk allergy or spiritual allergy or, you know, you might need to burp. Okay, because you're growing up. You're going from a, a man, I mean, from a boy to a man, like Mowgli into a man, you know, like a wild little boy into a man, from a, a wild uh, girl or a, a, young, a young girl into a woman. You're going from a baby carnal spirit into an evolved being. From a baby angel into this freaking massive angel. Okay? So you have to allow yourselves to burp. You got to eat every two hours. So that means you got to be studying. You got to be in God's presence. You got to be praying, meditating, grounding, pampering yourself. When you feel yourself getting colicky, you got a spiritual burp coming up, meaning a release. Okay, because we're releasing a lot. 
allow yourself to go through the changes don't devalue yourself just because you're integrating like allow yourself compassion to heal stand in your strength it takes a lot of strength to go through the things that you've gone through and still value yourself and still allow yourself to grow. Even it's, it's, it's very compassionate. Just like when you are around children, you got to do a lot of things for them when they're young. So I feel like maybe, you know, people have to do a lot of things for you before and, but they won't anymore. Or you had to, you know, you had to rely on people a lot before, but you're growing up and that can be even spiritually too. Like your crown growing. like. But there's an element of self-care and pampering yourself through the process. It says you deserve reciprocated love. So <clears throat> understanding your value and understanding, you know, the milk isn't for free, like they say. Why buy the cow when the milk is for free? Like just as much as... <clears throat> You know, you're laboring in love and giving like free milk, free game or whatever. You know, people have to reciprocate that. You know, whether it be time, money, resources. That's why I even charge for my readings. It's not because this information ain't free. Because I would love to give every... That's why I do free readings and collectives. The reason why I do that is because if... I've learned that like if people want my time and my energy and my resources, they should give some of their time and some of their energy and some of their resources. So this is also understanding um, to be around people, like I said, the high vibrational people that will reciprocate the same type of... Um, compassion but this says also shoe game on fleek and victoria's secret so if you need to like i'm not saying go shop till you drop to make yourself feel better i'm not saying that but maybe some people do that but you know buy yourself something nice or do something nice for yourself understand that you're worth you're worth it all look at that you are the north star and you're going towards your north node You are Polaris. You are the celestial heavens. The cosmos is within you. You are the universe. The more that you understand your value, the more that you pamper yourself, the more you will attract other people that value themselves and can see your true value. Maybe that actually can cheers and have a drink with you and not have to be spiritually burped all the time. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But after a while, guys, we're going to be sitting at the table eating together, drinking together and laughing and being merry, not just releasing, you know, past pains all the time and, you know, having to be burped. It's like a baby when they first start eating, at first they um, are on the mom's breast. And then they go, when they start drinking formula, they're only drinking, um, they're drinking formula that can break down the sugars and they're drinking two ounces. And then they go to four ounces and they have to be burped every, every ounce or every two ounces. And then when the baby gets almost like eight months old, they can drink a whole eight, nine ounce bottle without being burped. I feel like your um spirit your spiritual digestive system is being so your spiritual gut is being recalibrated or growing. <clears throat> Leaving your past behind. When you lose people for being yourself, respectfully, fuck them. <laughs> That's why I said, y'all, leaving your past behind, all those people that have doubted you, 
All those people, they in five of cups. They're sad and in regret. And look, when you lose people for being yourself, respectively, fuck them. Because you got to pamper yourself and love yourself. And go towards your purpose and your North Star. See, there's something too about higher self and ego. Remember I was saying like, because as you grow spiritually, that's when we allow our, our ego to rest. Our ego is there to protect us, but we can say, okay, I'm safe. Let me allow the walls to, you know, come down and, you know, let's allow some shit to break. The ego burp. <laughs> Somebody needs to take a big ass ego burp. Damn. All right, what else, Holy Spirit? You are very attractive. Besitos, that means kisses. Favored by source. So I feel like I, I just heard butterfly kisses or angel kisses. You are very attractive. There's astro hugs. I heard besties. So I feel like the angels, like you've been kissed by an angel. You've been kissed by a rose on the grave. Ooh, uh, 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 mother, yeah. I feel like your third eye is illuminating. Purple rain bath. Something about like getting out in the rain and also, dang, I heard... Holy Spirit, rain down, rain down. Let your power fall. Let your voice be heard. Come and change our hearts as we stand on your word. There's, a, there's something about standing on the knowing of who God made you to be. And continue to walk into your purpose and know that you are favored by God. As you leave certain things of the past behind, you follow your third eye, your intuition. You allow your ego to fall. You love yourself. You pamper yourself. And this purple rain bath is literally the heavens raining down the Holy Spirit.